You know what sucks? Everything. Everything sucks. The coral reefs are dying, the ozone has a hole, women are losing choices about their own bodies, YouTubers are getting cancelled, and even NCA is changing. It's unbearable. Yeah. All the government's fault, man. We need to have an election to stop their tomfoolery. <laughs> All right. But apart from sanitation, medicine, education, wine, public order, roads, the fresh water system, and uh, colonic irrigation, what has the government have done for us? What was that, Pinky? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. They've done nothing, precisely nothing, Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> Long ago, I created this world. I would even call it my own God's own. <laughs> but now, as I sit atop my heavenly throne, I am disappointed by you humans. I created you to be innovative and inspiring. And now, you sit around complaining. <laughs> do you hear that? Yeah, I do, but... You know, as Pinky always says, Don't, don't listen, listen to disembodied voices! <laughs> Not good enough, lads. My mother always used to say, just avoid those kinds of people. Yeah. And stranger danger too. Yeah. You never can be too sure about stranger danger. Isn't that right, Pinky? You fools! <laughs> You stand around complaining. You could be out there changing the world. That's what the others do. Whatever. <laughs> could you give us, um, me and Pinky are kind of struggling. Could you give us one example? Martin Luther King. Oh, the guy who wrote the Bible. Junior. <laughs> Martin Luther King, Junior. <laughs> That they will live to be good people. Woo! Yeah! I disagree. What happened? Yes, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Martin was a great guy. Did a lot for the American voting system. Got shot. Well, you know. I kind of like being not unalive, so if you get what I mean. Yeah. That was not a very good example, especially not for Peggy. Peggy's very sensitive. Um, <laughs> can you give one that, you know, relatively Kiwi? Inspired by a New Zealander. How about Mike? That's really not so specific. <laughs> like, Mike who? Mike Jones? Mike Smith? Mike Drop? Yes, that one. Yes. Mike Drop. You no. got a few too many beers, right? Mike Smith. Ah. Fool. Come, I will show you. <clears throat> Let's go. We can't. Why not? We have to wait for Mike. Oh. Are you sure this is it? What? We were supposed to wait. He said by the tree, have you seen any old? What is it? I don't know, a willow? No, you morons! No, you morons! This is clearly not a willow. It's clearly a pine. And also, you also morons. We have protesting. <laughs> it's been a long day. And a long walk. And now you're telling me that it doesn't matter whether it's a willow or a pine. I've got the axe. <laughs> what do we do? That's exactly the type of thinking that got us here in the first place. Here, take this. We're planting more trees. 
No! Read the memo! We're gonna chop this one down and plant a native. Get night. You get what I'm putting down? Are you sure this will go down well? Ugh. This land used to be sacred. Had a really cool tree and was native as well. But then there's some bug who came along in the 1800s and decided to chop it down and replace it with a goddamn pine. Now, we are here, writing is wrong, and we're gonna just plant a new one. Okay, I'll chop, you dig. And they changed the world just like that. Yeah, but he kind of seemed rather cagey. Not what I intended, but the meaning was there and the intention was executed. Ask them where the tree is now. Fine, the tree was chopped down. So now there's no tree and there's no one to protest. Come on, he's wasting our time. Let's go. There is no such thing as a waste of time, my child. Some things take time, like Kate Shippen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was, she was the hottie. <laughs> you ignorant fool. Come, I will show you. of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. And some cook and clean and raise children. <laughs> <laughs> if you believe that, you would have never built that tennis court. I built that tennis court to play tennis. It's not a conspiracy, Kate. Bugger it. I'm not just a pretty face, and my voice deserves to be heard. I'm giving women's rights. Oh, that sounds lovely, but wouldn't you want to wash the dishes first? <laughs> Reminds me of my mother. What was that, Pinky? Ah, but he's just trying to persuade you the lies. All that dark magic and stuff. Oh. You're talking about Peter Blake. Myself's sake. <laughs> Get back here, I'm fighting you! 